guys so like i promised i have actually got hold of a demo powered air purifying filter respirator which is uh, i've just come to one of my friends clinics roshit who has kindly allowed me to check out his um, papr and uh, so i'm just gonna do do a demo so who is this papr for it is for people who have actually uh, cannot shave because obviously like i have explained in the previous videos the mask has to have a good fit for it to work as a respirator and so for poor whoever cannot fit for whatever reason they cannot get a right fit or whoever's failed all the fit tests they've tried all the because of the shape of the face or whatever the reasons are that they have failed all the masks i've got a friend of mine who does not um, and cannot be is not sensitive to the uh, the air nebulizers uh, for the fit tests uh, as well so then she doesn't have a choice because she can't be fit tested for any of the masks and she has to have one of these uh, power aired filters and the fourth is when you've got to do long surgeries so um, there are two two different uh, thoughts of, thoughts for this the HSC guideline says that you can use uh, most of the masks the FFP2s FFP3s all the uh, other respirators for are continuously only for up to an hour so anything that you need to use more than an hour is meant uh, to be has to have a uh, power there but um, again that's mostly for industrial purposes so we've got to bear that in mind and uh, there is a paper written um, which I will put in a, a, a link in the description below which says that for a normal surgical mask continuously to use it you can use it up to four hours and for any of the respirators you can use continuously up to eight hours so um, uh, what's happen been happening so far in the uh, urgent care dental centers uh, that most of the people have been using their FFP3 masks for a whole session and then if it is well they would put a surgical mask on top of it and change it after every patient but they were using uh, the masks uh, for a session uh, which is usually about four to five hours so what does a papr consist of so you can um, either have it as the the half respirators i showed you earlier you can either have a uh, powered air on that or you can have a full face shield uh, respirator with a powered air like i showed you in the picture before this or you can have a full hood um, and I have been told that this is probably one of the best types of uh, uh, PAPRs and we're going to check it out today. So what does, uh, what, are the, what all does it consist of? So it consists of a powered um, air uh, purifier, which you can actually control using the battery. So you, uh, you can actually put it, switch it on and then uh, you can change it to high or low amount of air being produced so that there's just you can control it to what is comfortable for you and how uh, how much you want it so that's the one we need to see is this is the filter for it so the filter for it is uh, comes in different types so depending on so obviously for uh, aerosol generating procedures we're going to use a p3 filter but you can also use the same thing when you're using in where there's hazardous um, air or you know when there is um, you know lots of other uses are there different types of different filters this this is also got a pre-filter in it which is how the HEPA which works which I'll explain to you later so that's the other part then it's got to have a battery which uh, runs for up to nine hours once it's charged it can need it's it takes up to uh, one hour to charge and then it stays on for about nine hours afterwards the other um, parts for this it's got a hose so which is connected to the hood and the hood goes uh, and car so it works both as a face shield and a mask so i will demo this all for you in a second so uh, i'm just going to demonstrate how to use it and what i think of it so um what you first need to do is um, check that oh, everything's looking good and the battery is fully charged that there doesn't go off during your procedure the second thing is to check for any damages so there should be uh, or there shouldn't look for any visible damages or tears and that it's not damaged so um, these are reusable uh, obviously and these are uh, wiped down and clean and ready to be used so they, they can be once then they can be bagged so once you check for the damage then we are ready to get on with donning and doffing so uh, what i um, again for donning and doffing uh, there are uh, very good videos that's done by 
um, the health authorities, so which I will put out uh, for in the description below for you to understand exactly. But I'll just give you a quick demo, so uh, it may not be perfect. So what you do is obviously the hand hygiene measures, depending on what type of surgical procedures you're going to do. Obviously, the correct uh, hand hygiene for that. Then what I do is I've got um, I've got a very small, uh, smaller, not not too long a loop. So it's just 2.5 uh, or a scoptic loop. So I'm just going to fix it uh, first. And then what I uh, would do next is the um, wearing the gown. So I just wear the gown quickly and get that tied and be ready. And then the next would be to actually, so because it is the, um, the obviously I will have, usually have help with tying this, but obviously now I'm gonna just do it myself. Um, so uh, just remember that it's a good idea to actually switch the power uh, air on so that that's working because then you get positive air pressure which is otherwise going to be quite suffocating when it's switched off. So the next thing you need to do is connect the air hose on to the power motor. Okay, and then you've got to put this around you and then you just sort of there is, you can adjust it, so I've uh, pre-adjusted it so that it's correct to fit me. And then there is, um, you can tighten it accordingly. So now I've already connected the hood, so it just comes over your shoulder, and this just goes right on top. So, this one goes on top. Also, I was supposed to switch it on, which I didn't do, so that you can see, that's why it's getting formed up. So, I would switch it on now and I can feel the air starting to come through and it feels very suffocating now. Okay, my loops are well adjusted. No, oh, that feels good. That feels, it's not feeling suffocating at all. It's very light. It doesn't feel like it's uh, like uh, unlike when you wear uh, all the other masks. I felt like it's you know it's uh, because obviously it needs a tight seal. It feels very uh, claustrophobic. Uh, this I'm not feeling that. I can easily move. Uh, I feel like my communication is quite good, but obviously I will have to check check the video to see if you can hear what I'm trying to say. Um, and the breathing feels very comfortable. I, I really like uh, what I'm feeling so far. Um, obviously an advantage comes with some disadvantages uh, this is a very expensive equipment so if you want to invest in it uh, but I think if you're going to have long surgeries um, you know if you're in a room where you're in a hot area uh, I'm really liking it it's really feeling very good so again um, uh, you know it's great that I'm getting a chance to actually try it before I order it so that's amazing uh, so um, yeah I would say this has been of all the masks I've tried this is what I really like the, the best, but obviously it comes expensive, but, uh, you know, the equipment itself, expensive filters. So uh, there is going to be a continuous charge. Uh, but again, um, something for you to think about. Uh, have a think about all the different and we will uh, see you shortly. So uh, long video. I know that I was trying to reduce as much as possible, but uh, that gives you a big roundup of all the different respirators that I am uh, familiar with, I have no affiliates, so none of this uh, is is because I am advocating one or the other. This is so that you get a feel of the different types and then you can see uh, what is you know suitable cost-wise and uh, you know effective-wise and what you, you would be happy to try. The um, uh, the of, of the different respirators, obviously the hood type with the powered air was the most uh, comfortable one for me, but it is quite expensive and I haven't got hold of one myself yet. Um, and uh, so I've got myself, um, this is mine, it says, as it says Riz, uh, this is my stealth one and I use that uh, with my loops and a face, a big face shield that, not a visor, so it's got a face uh, band that goes, um, and a face shield that protects uh, with the gown and all the other donning uh, PPE. So hope that has helped you all understand a little bit more about respirators. I 
forgot to thank all my friends who helped me get all the different masks and uh, help uh, you know borrow their uh, masks as well so i want to say a special thank you to dr liju dr shafiq shamela um roshi all of you thank you so much uh, for helping me do a demo for uh, everybody to understand uh, what how we can protect ourselves in the dental profession and so like give me a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and i shall be back with more videos uh, to help you uh, get on with your dentistry journey